Hey guys and welcome to the video. Today I wanted to go over just how easy it is to install the latest version of Ubuntu on Proxmox. At the time of recording, Ubuntu 22.04 just rolled out and there are some cool new features and changes. I won't be going over those in depth, but you'll get to see the setup process and the new GNOME 42 interface. Before we get started, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more helpful deep dives on home lab ideas, Kubernetes, Docker, and Linux. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do, obviously, is go out and get that ISO of Ubuntu 22.04. Um, you can see that I have the URL pulled up right here. It's going to be releases.ubuntu.com slash jammy. Jammy Jellyfish is the latest release um, tag number that they came up with. It's pretty cool. Um, so once you go ahead and download it, we're going to have to upload the ISO into Proxmox. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right over to my Proxmox machine right here. And if you guys... I don't know if I've shown this off before, but this is my home server. Um, I have two Intel Xeon CPUs, and that's the E5-2650. I also have 48 gigs of RAM, um, and I have a 500 gigabyte SSD, and my boot SSD is going to be a 50 gigabyte SSD. Um, so yeah, these are these are my main specs. Um, so what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to kind of come over here. And we're going to go down to the local um, drive and we're going to pick ISO images and we're going to choose upload. And let's select that ISO image that we already downloaded. And I'm just going to hit upload and we're going to let that run real quick. All right, now that we're all set with that, we're going to close out of it and we can see that it's been uploaded here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to want to create a VM for our Ubuntu instance. So I'm going to come up here to the top right and hit create VM. And we're going to name this Ubuntu 2004 uh, demo. Here we go. And we're going to hit next. Now we're going to choose that ISO image and that's going to be this one right here. And next, you can keep everything here default. You can change it if you want. I'm just going to keep it default for now. And it's going to give us a 32 gigabyte partition of the SSD. We're going to keep going. Now I'm going to give, I'm going to throw a few cores at this. We're going to do six. And for memory, we're going to do 4096. All right. And then I'm going to want to pick up an IP address through DHCP. So I'm going to leave a blank here. And I'm going to look everything over. It looks good to me. I'm going to check the start after created. And we're going to hit finish. We're going to wait for that machine to pop up right here, but I'm going to go ahead and click it. And we're going to want to choose the console right here and choose that first option and let this thing boot. All right, and now that we're booted up into the wizard, what we're going to want to do is we're going to hit install Ubuntu. And this should walk us through the installation wizard. I'm going to choose English. And I'm going to choose minimal installation uh, simply because it takes a lot longer to do the normal installation. If I were you and you're just trying to, you know, uh, poke around and see what's new, I would also pick minimal installation and install third party software for graphics and Wi Fi. We're going to hit continue. What we're going to choose is we're going to erase the disk and install Ubuntu. This is the same thing as doing a clean install in Windows and uh, formatting the partition and then installing the operating system on that partition. So keep in mind we have 32 gigabytes that is going to be erased and, and Ubuntu is going to be installed on there. And then we're going to hit continue. Now next you're going to pick your time zone. This is correct for me. And we are going to add some basic info. I'm going to hit continue and it's going to walk us through the installer and we can watch the logs right here while that installs. And finally, it looks like the installation is done. Um, now don't quote me on this, I could be wrong about the minimal installation taking shorter than the normal because as I was looking at the logs it seems that all of the packages are installed and then removed 
So maybe the minimal installation adds that extra step of removing. Not sure. Anyway, we're done. And what we're going to hit is restart now. And it's going to ask us to remove the installation media. And that's really simple in Proxmox. All you have to do is hit enter. So we're going to do that. And now it's going to boot into that new um, operating system that we installed, 22.04. All right, we're gonna choose our user profile and I'm gonna put in my password. And success, we are now in Ubuntu 22.04. Um, super easy, like I said, it's just a few clicks in Proxmox. I would highly recommend trying Ubuntu 22.04 out on Proxmox before you install it on your daily driver. Um, or if you have an old laptop hanging around, you could clean install it on there. Um, I'm just going to run through this real quick so we can take a look at GNOME 42 and the different changes that they made there. When I first logged on, I noticed that the Files app looks a lot different, um, a lot cleaner it seems like. Um, and if we go into Settings, I can show you the new customization features. They have a Dark Mode now, if we go into Appearance dark mode and they also have these themes that you can choose. I'm going to choose purple. Purple is my favorite color. Um, and you can change you know, the different icon sizes uh, across system wide. So there's a, there's a lot more customization um, opportunities in, in uh, GNOME 42. Um, so yeah, that's, that's Ubuntu 22.04. I may do a more uh, in-depth you know, walkthrough of Ubuntu 22.04. Right now it's just showing you how to install it on Proxmox. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe, hit the notifications, share it with someone who might, you know, have a home lab with Proxmox running. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.